from the wave of hope the idea of the home of hope came along. You might be wondering where did this idea come from? As I've said, I volunteered in the home for four years. The home is a home for sick, destitute children. The idea is when they leave the home, when they're better, they return back to their families, be it in the jungle, be it in the mountains, be it in any part of Peru. The problem is, there is no education, there is no services for these kids, there is no chance of progress. So from spending time in the Hogar, I saw the idea to start a new home, called the Home of Hope. It will be run like a school. All kids will attend, they will still attend their classes in their local schools, but we will give them a bed, we will give them food, we will give them everything they need. We will have languages classes. Because many of the kids will have disabilities, to have language classes is a very, very important factor. They will learn English, they will learn French, and with the new thing, they will be taught Chinese. Self-development classes. Our kids will take courses of self-development to learn about life, life skills, pregnancy, drug abuse, everything that we face in life, about how to make decisions, how to face conflict. Computer classes, again, a lot of children with disabilities. Computer classes is a great way for them to find employment. They'll be taught everything from Microsoft Office to how to design websites, Excursions. We'll have excursions on a weekend basis, nature trails, museums, anything to educate them. The wave effect. My idea is to create a wave effect. The reason all you, buy, all you people are here today is for this wave effect. New ideas, new programs, new ways to make the world a better place. We will give these kids support. Through, through the program, they will gain independence. They will become empowered. Some will stay in Lima. Some will work in Lima. But we want to stall in them to become community leaders. They might be, they might be doctors. They might be nurses. They might be teachers. We want to give them the tools to return to their home villages and become a teacher in their home village, start a school in their home village, become a doctor in their home village, start a clinic in their home village. We want them to be leaders not only for themselves, not only for their families, but for their communities. The Home of Hope will function as an NGO run by a board of directors. Everything will be very, very transparent. The, the main idea of today is transparency. And when you're dealing on the ground with people one-on-one, -on -one, you have to have transparency. A lot of organizations, as Mark has mentioned, as Jill has mentioned, give, give, give. I have heard so many horrible stories in Peru where maybe 10% of donations go to those who need it. It all ends up in people's pockets. Who will work there? We will have a house parent who will live in the home with the students. We will have a house director who will be, have a lot of knowledge with the local community to build up new programs for the students. What links will be made? This should more be what links have been made. Over the last few months, there's been links made with international schools in Lima, businesses in Lima, sports clubs. This is only the start, but long term to be links made with Peru, Ireland, America, and further afield. Where will, the support, where will the support come from? At the moment, all of the support is coming from Ireland. I am Irish. My contacts are all in Ireland. I've been in Peru for four years. So that's where my support comes from. We're also looking for support in any form possible from America, 
from England. In the future, the idea is the support will come from Peru. Peru is a growing economy. Peru is making money. There are very, very, very poor people in Peru, but there's also very, very rich people in Peru. Our idea is, in four to five years from now, the support will come from Peruvians. It'll be their house in their country with money from their pockets. Is it feasible? It's very, very feasible. The last nine months have shown me the interest that we have from all over. The kids are there, the tools are in place, the final steps are being made. I want you now to listen to Hope in Action. Here is six little bubbles. The first one is the home of hope. Second one is Alan. Alan, nine months ago, was a patient in the home and he was leaving. He had no employment. Nielsen, ex-patient, three years ago in the home, without employment. Lucio, ex-patient, two, uh, two years ago, presently looking for employment. Kylene, brother of Alan, without employment. Lady, student in the, a patient in the Hogar, uh, was on her way to leaving, can't continue her education, and doesn't have employment. In these last nine months, the idea of Help Them Hope Home of Hope, has recruited 30 volunteers to come to Peru. That's 30 volunteers to come over, help the kids in Dr. Tony's, Ogar, and different organizations in Lima. It has found sponsorship for eight kids directly and started an English school in the Ogar, which is classes that run daily. And it's also raised 79,000 euros. As time went by, I got talking to Jill and Mark, and Jill invited me to, uh, for a meeting, and we talked about Alan's story. That Alan was going to receive a micro loan from Jill to start his restaurant. I was in Lima. John, can you help him? Jill, of course I can. I talked to Alan on a weekly basis, visited his restaurant, and followed his process. From Alan, I met Nielsen. Nielsen, another ex patient of the Hogar, wanted to study English. He is now receiving his monthly fee to study English. Lucio. Lucio also without of work. Lucio is now getting sponsored to do a course as a chef. He is also working part-time in Alan's restaurant. Lady, as I've mentioned, ex-student, no education, no work. Help them, help them Hope is now sponsoring Lady with her education. We'll now move on to Alan. Alan hired Nielsen. Nielsen has employment. Alan hired Lucio. Lucio is studying and also has employment. Alan hired his cousin, or his brother, sorry, Kaleen. Kaleen has employment. Lady wasn't going to work in the restaurant, but Alan, through local contacts, found a job for Lady. Lady is studying and also has employment. This is hope in action. I'm now going to show you another video of the progress Alan has made, and another message from Alan in his restaurant. Many kids from Peru, many young adults from Peru, can make the same progress. They only need to be given the opportunity. They only need to be given the tools to be put in their hands. I am in Peru. I will be staying in Peru. Help Them Hope is working with personal philanthropy. Our projects are working with Alan. Our main project is the home of hope. You've heard of the wave of health. 
You've heard of the wave of opportunity. You've heard of the wave of progress. I want you now to think you're falling, you're coming near the sea. I want you all to join us on this wave of hope. I hope you're ready. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you.